Sneakers. Oh. Sneakers, trainers, crips. Kicks. Treads. Pumps. Um, I'm Will Jarvis, I'm 14 and I'm size 9. Um, my name is Christina Paul. Um, my shoe size is size 6 and my job is I am um, the managing director of the company and the project coordinator of the Sneaker Seek project. My name is Richard Matthew, my shoe size is 11 and a half. Uh, my job is uh, after I was coordinator, I had to think about that for me. I'm Dana, I'm 14 and I have size 8 feet. I'm Sasha and I'm 21, obviously. <laughs> um, my shoe size is 7 and a half. Um, my name is Connor, my, my age is 15 and uh, my shoe size is 10 and a half. My name is Courtney Ashton, age 18. My shoe size is a size 7. My name is Sam, I'm um, 13 and I've got like size 9 feet. I love them. I wear them almost every day. I'm um, not obsessed with the labels and stuff, but the comfort is what does it for me. I like sneakers, like if they look good and attractive, got a nice pattern on it, I'll buy it. The way you wear your sneakers can tell a lot about you. Um, sneakers style has changed, I'd say quite dramatically really. Um, in the 80s, i say the material maybe is not as much or as many as we have now. So leather and suede would have been the, the main types of material that they used to make sneakers. I'm a fan of trainers, I ain't gonna lie, I've got a few pairs at home, so I'm a big fan of trainers. I'm, yeah, I, I do like trainers a lot. They're like the icing on the cake for your outfit. Um, I'm obsessed with sneakers. I don't really collect them, but I love knowing about sneaker culture, like how it links into stuff like graffiti and hip hop and break dance, um, what it's like in the 80s and how it's kind of been repossessed now for the noughties and stuff by young people. and. Um, learning all about you know how different people view it like just as sportswear or as fashion wear so yeah I, I love kicks. Now they have things that look like leather but not quite leather you know things that um, they have well I say suede but they've got this um, new buck that's what they call it so you've got that suede look to your shoes and I think just in terms of the level of comfortability the being more aware of people's style of foot, so you got flat feet, um, arched feet, you know, more accommodating for those type of people. It's like item of clothing, it's like something which you can really like vary, it's something you can collect. So. I just love the designs in them, I just love how some, some of them can be like so simple but still look so good. earliest memories of wearing trainers, I would say Primsels. Take it back to Primsels, like that's my earliest memory. Wow. Now when I was younger, sneakers were meant to be kicked about and dirty and scruffy. So I can remember getting a brand new pair of white sneakers from Tesco's, which had a red line around the edge and they were the in ones to have, believe it or not. And taking them out into the dirt, the first day I had them, and kicking them around and getting them as filthy as I could and then going home and my mum went mental at me. Well, I remember when I went camping and I was wearing them and they got completely soaked with like mud and wet stuff. They like ruined that pair of trainers, so. Most of the times like when I went to go visit my cousin in Liverpool, chucking the trainers up on the, the wires on top, so they laid it. I had to wear really hideous ones at school for gym, um, really disgusting, you know those like white ones, the green, um, yeah, those ones that everybody wears at school that now are really popular, which is really, really weird. Um, and then beyond that, I'd normally wear a lot of Reebok. Um, I didn't wear Nike for years, um, never bought a pair of Nikes. Um, I kind of wanted to steer clear of them and go for a bit more kind of edgy stuff. So I wore a lot of Etnies, um, lots of skate shoes kind of style. It's changed over the years. main brands? Uh, my favourite sneakers are Converse. The brands I would say would be Nike and Echo. 
I like all different kinds, to be honest. I'm really into customised trainers. I really love seeing trainers that look a little bit different, that just got something unusual about them. Um, and it really changes. I mean, one of my favourite pairs that I ever owned was... Um, I can't even remember what they're called, but they were, they were the Puma ones. The first ones they brought out that had the kind of Velcro kind of strap that went across them. And they were massively popular and, and they started bringing them out. And I had one of the first pairs and I went into London to get them. And they were so cool. And all my friends were like, oh my God, you've got them. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And it was really amazing. So, um, so I was really into Pumas for quite a while. Um, yeah, I like Nike and Adidas just because I love the way they're built. I think they're really cool and stylish. When I was growing up, it was Adidas and Puma. Um, and then I go, I guess, um, Converse and Nikes came in a bit later. I think my first proper pair of nice trainers were Baby Sham ones from Pool. I did that's F30s, but I lost them after like two weeks. My first pair of sneakers that I remember, which I chose, were Reeboks. The Trojans, you know, I, I don't know, for me at the same time, I'm, I, I remember seeing the advert Adidas Trojans, and it was just a whole cross at the bottom of the trainer. For some reason, I thought it would do something special when you walk. I don't even know why, but Adidas Trojans, it was a big thing like with a crossbar. Um, so it, it was just, it was hype basically. I was young, it was my first proper pair of trainers, it wasn't like matchsticks, it wasn't high tech, and I was just, it, I just, it was just, I just felt proud to have a pair of Adidas Trojans. I don't know why, but yeah. It was just one of those things, I guess. It was the, the, the TV sold it to me, basically. <laughs> Eight, nine, or ten. I'm not sure. I don't know, I only have about 12 pairs. So, like between 10 and 15. About four. Either 50 Cent or Jay Z. See Michael Jordan or Jay Z. Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Laces, I just love like multi-coloured laces because they're just fun. I prefer wearing straps. Fat laces, fat tongues, um, foot locker, different styles like the strap underneath the tongue or no straps, no laces. Sneaker seeker, keep it locked. <laughs>